Alright guys, today we are heard out here on Emerald Coast once again to finally begin the grind for the last diamond we need, not only on this map but also on the entire game. You know, after finally getting the diamond stubble quell the other day, the Megpikus is the last species we need to finally complete our quest for every single diamond in the game. So as I said, on this occasion we are gonna begin the grind for a diamond Megpie, and I gotta say there's a good chance it turns to be a short one because my Megpikus population is mostly untouched. I mean, I haven't really hunted them since the map came out, so I would say it's possible that there's a level 5 already on the map, you know, product of the initial spawns. Well, it didn't take too long, there we have the first max estimate coming in, he's a level 4. I honestly don't recall seeing any level 4 diamond posted of this species, but I assume they can actually make it, since I mean all the key species are able to make it below max level, so I certainly don't think that there's any reason to think that it's any different with the Megpikus. You know, would be fantastic to get a level 4 diamond as my first, so we are definitely gonna kill him. Now he's about to land, roughly 80 meters out, which is a bit far for the shotgun, but it's still possible to hit him. Am I use the 12 cage Cacciatore? He's down. And that other female is down as well. So let's see a score of this level 4, hopefully diamond. 3.71, man he's big. You know the diamond score is 3.85 so this guy is very close and in fact I don't remember getting a level 4 bigger than this one which means that there is a personal best. Alright, there's another max estimate coming in, also a level 4, on the same location where we found the last one, so as soon as he lands we're gonna shoot him, and I would also like to shoot some of the other ganters because all of them have a chance to respawn as a level 5. Although the thing is that we actually have to wipe out the entire flock to get response since all the bird species only respawn once you kill all the members from a single flock. You know, if we shot a few ganders here, they are not gonna respawn until we kill all the other females. Let's see. Okay, they are about to land. And apparently very close to us, which is not necessarily a good thing. So I'ma shoot the four first, and then I'ma go for a few more. We got a second. And there goes the other male. Which is also gonna die in a moment, we hit him twice. Now let's see if this max estimate level 4 gives us a massive surprise and there is actually diamond. 3.78, oh my god. He is even bigger than the last one, surprisingly, and very close from being our first time on Mech by Goose. Frankly, seeing how frequently these huge cores appear on level 4s, I think it's very likely that they can actually be big enough without being max level. No shot. I'm pretty sure that's Simela. I mean, there's absolutely no doubt about it, that is a level 2 female melanistic make by Goose. We are still yet to see any level 5 yet, but honestly if you ask me, I would undoubtedly choose a melanistic over a diamond every single day. You know, the fact that we have a melanistic as an initial spawn and not a diamond is honestly quite surprising since the melanistics are way rarer than the diamonds. Now, my only doubt here is whether to drop this rare using the Cachatore or using the Recurve. And you may ask, like, why the recurve is even an option when the Cachatori is obviously a way better choice to drop a goose, but a better question in my opinion would be how many of these melanistics do you think have been dropped with the recurve so far? I personally haven't seen any. So potentially being the first to do so is certainly enough motivation to use it on this guy as soon as she lands. Okay, apparently she's gonna land right in front of us, which is amazing. And that's it, she's down. Very simple shot, she landed like 20 meters out, so there was no way we missed that. So I guess that is enough keys for today, I mean we killed like 50, which is not a lot, but it's a good start. And certainly getting this beautiful melanistic is a fantastic outcome for such a short hunt regardless of not being able to get a diamond, although it is an initial spawn. She's a 2.87 silver, we hit her using the recurve for only 10.94 mirrors, basically nothing, and that is our first trophy magpie, a beautiful melanistic. 
Alright guys, now we're back on multiplayer, we'll be doing some server hopping for the rest of the hunt. In only a few minutes after joining the first session, I just stumbled across the track of a potential level 5 panting. You know, there's a very good chance this will actually be the first diamond of the hunt, so we gotta find it. And there's the herd. Oh. Well, that's definitely the big one. Man, top estimate of 145. That's gotta be a diamond, although I'm pretty sure the horns are not the diamond horns. You know, the max estimate level for bad things can only have two types of horns, and I'm pretty sure this one has the small ones. Still, I'ma try to intercept him and use the recurve because we cannot rule out that it may still have a chance to be a diamond. That one is a level 3. He should come this way in a moment. And there comes the big one. Really big 4 with a massive estimate. Although we shouldn't get our hopes up too much because as I said the horns are not really as big, they could have been bigger. Let's see. And that was a viral hit, probably double long. I'ma go for the second shot. And that's it. Nice way to drop this monster, luckily we managed to intercept him and get him using this great bow. And although I would love to do the same on this cow, I'ma use the rhino this time. Okay. Well, it took us four shots, not the best placement. Anyway, let's see if this panting is big enough to be a diamond. I honestly doubt it, but let's see. And yeah, 134.05, a disappointing score considering that the estimate was massive, it scored pretty much at the bottom of it, but it's not really a surprise, I mean the horns were not promising. Now, this one right here is another promising track, the track of a potential level 9 crocodile. Although I gotta say that compared to the Bantings, only a fraction of the max estimate crocodiles are gonna be level 9, so again, we shouldn't get our hopes up too much. Oh my god, there he is, he was hiding on the water. Level 7 though. Not a good hit. I'ma go for the second shot. And that was a viral, I assume it was a single long. So just a level 7 with a score of 892.2, very close from being a mythical. As you can see the first shot was bad, but luckily we managed to clip a single long on the second. Ok guys, now we're on a different server, and this time I came across a track of what may be a legendary red fox. Certainly finding one of these is not the most exciting thing considering how many diamond red foxes I've gotten in the past, but it's still intriguing if we take into account that we're yet to find a diamond red fox here on Emerald Coast. So even though I would choose many diamonds before a diamond red fox, I would absolutely love if this guy turns to be a level 9. Alright, we're reaching a relatively open area where I would expect to finally be able to spot this guy. And in fact there he is. So the question is, is he a level 7, level 8 or a level 9? Let's see. Oh! No way, he's a level 9. Honestly, I was not expecting him to be level 9 since we got a Diamond Red Fox back on May, and the last one before that was on early 2021, which means that we had to wait around a year between our last two diamonds, so definitely finding another one just roughly 4 months after the last one is not too bad. Kinda lucky I would say, considering how rare the legendary foxes are. Ok, there he is again. Can we drop him here? He's less than 100 meters out, so it should be rather simple. Am I use the 233 Cuomo? Let's see. I mean, as I said, it will be an easy shot, as long as he gives us a good angle, of course. Which is not happening. So we'll have to continue a chase, unfortunately. 
now maybe we'll get a second chance here. Well, I hope. We need to spot him. Come on, where is him? Right there. Oh. Man, I absolutely hate when they speed up like that. It's very annoying. I mean, it's a harmless bug, but it's simply not right. Alright, let's go for it. Roughly 100 meters out. We are zeroed for 100. Can we hit a double long? Yeah, he's down. Finally, it was a long chase. Now let's see if it is in fact a diamond. You know, the estimate was promising, 13 to 16, definitely a good estimate. And in addition to that, the fact that level 9 foxes rarely were troll definitely gives us a very good reason to be optimistic. 14.13, he's a diamond. Our first diamond red fox on Emerald Coast. As you can see, we hit it along at 96 meters after a pretty significant chase of 2.8 kilometers. Not too bad.